why shouldn't borrowers get too comfortable? Uh, well, they mainly shouldn't get too comfortable, Sarah, because there's, uh, even though most economists think that rates have probably now peaked, there's no indication any time soon that they're likely to come down and they could be where they are uh, for at least the next 12 months, possibly well into 2025. There's still some possibility that there might be another tweak at some late, later stage in the year. Uh, but certainly the issue now becomes, let's presume they've peaked, um, but we're looking at them staying at their current levels for a considerable period of time. So what are we seeing that, that led the Reserve Bank to make this decision? How, how, is the, how is the health of the economy? What are we seeing working that makes it possible to pause again? Well, the Reserve Bank Governor in his last statement uh, on monetary policy and the decision today uh, is saying that uh, po the interest rates uh, that have already been, uh, um, the rate decisions that have already been taken uh, are working to rebalance the economy and will continue to do so, i.e. he's acknowledging that there is this lag effect of monetary policy which is still working through the system, but he's noting things like the fact that uh, household consumption is now quite soft uh, and inflation has peaked and is trending down. So that's given the bank, I think, more room for uh, a belief that things are basically trending the right way um, and they don't want to crash the place uh, now both he and uh, the Treasurer are saying that they don't believe that we'll um, see the economy contract, just that it'll get very, very slow. So they're waiting to see further signs of what will happen in the next few months to make sure that they're not overkilling on uh, the high interest rates. But um, briefly, what does it mean for the next decision? Uh, I think what it means for the next decision is that it will be the next decision will be taken by the new governor. Um, mm. I think the next decision is some months away, uh, and uh, it will really depend on what happens now over the next few months. You know whether I mean the, the labour market has continued to be quite strong, but the governor has dropped the language about uh, the risk of wages blowing out and all those sorts of things. So, I think if uh, if if anything. Um, it, there will, the only risk for rates to go up again would be that uh, he does note that there is this sticky services inflation which we talked about last week. That is, you know, services costs are still continuing to rise. But I think if you read the statement as a whole, basically we're in a holding pattern for a significant period of time until inflation starts to fall, which is now not expected to happen or to, to fall back into the inflation target range until possibly late in 2025. All right, so we'll just, for now, we'll just be grateful for a pause. Laura, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thanks, Sarah.